Hello and welcome to the San Diego Foundation 2022 Annual Report to the Community. I'm Katie Sawyer, Senior Director of Donor and Community Engagement, and I'll be your host. Thank you for being with us. This is our third year hosting this event virtually, and while the world has opened up considerably in the past year, we've seen that this virtual format allows us to be more accessible and inclusive to all of our partners. We're happy to have with us donors, nonprofits, corporate leaders, community members, government partners, and more. If you're watching this live, please drop a quick hello in the chat with your connection to the foundation and our community. During this event, you'll hear from foundation leadership. You'll learn about the impact of your giving in San Diego. And at the end, we'll celebrate the recipients of our second annual Inspire and Enable Awards. So let's get started. We'll kick off with an update for you about progress on our strategic plan, which we launched over a year ago. To do that, I'd like to welcome Board of Governors Chair Steve Klosterman. Steve is Regional Director at Halbert Hargrove. He's deeply involved in the community, and he's served on our board since 2016. We're grateful for his dedication and strategic leadership. Steve, I turn it over to you. Thank you for that introduction, Katie. I'm honored to serve as Board of Governors Chair and to share information about our strategic plan that we launched last year. At San Diego Foundation, our vision is for just, equitable, and resilient communities. We value all people, all partners, and our region. Through the strategic plan, San Diego Foundation supports our neighbors, family, friends, and colleagues through four key pillars, advancing racial and social justice, fostering equity of opportunity, building resilient communities, and delivering world-class philanthropy. Our strategic plan focuses on what we believe are the most significant needs in our community, the kind of impact we want to have to move our region forward and the community foundation we want to be for San Diegans in the future. We value our donors and community partners and we strive to provide extraordinary service to you and help generate greater awareness, understanding and action to help solve our region's greatest challenges. We have prioritized seven impact areas that serve those with the greatest need in San Diego, including children and families, education, the environment, racial and social justice, senior well-being, workforce development, and when needed, crisis philanthropy. To give you an idea what the strategic plan looked like in action this past year, I'd now like to welcome our president and CEO, Mark Stewart. Mark is an inspiring and influential champion for the San Diego Foundation and its communities, and we are so very thankful for his service and leadership. Thank you, Steve, for that very generous introduction and for all the leadership you have provided as chair of the Board of Governors. You are a tireless advocate and champion of our strategic plan and its impact now and in the future on the San Diego region. Before I report out on San Diego Foundation's strategic plan progress, I'd like to share some exciting news about this past year. I am proud to report that due to the generosity of our thousands of donors, funders, and corporate partners, we have awarded more than $150 million to nonprofit organizations, the most grant making in our 47 year history. Together, we were able to help more San Diegans than ever before during a time when they needed it most. In addition to that good news, we've also maintained San Diego Foundation's assets at $1.3 billion. Maintaining our assets isn't nearly as exciting as growing them, but these are some of the most challenging economic times that we've seen in more than a decade. We're so grateful for the leadership and expertise of our investment committee, as well as Chief Investment Officer Matt Fettig, whose careful navigation of these rough seas has enabled our one and three year investment returns to rank in the top 10% of similarly sized endowments and foundations in the entire nation. Additionally, our endowment funds grew to $744 million, and these funds ensure that more good work is accomplished in San Diego forever. 
Thanks to all who have made forever investments to benefit our region. You have provided important resources for building a more resilient county and assisting generations of San Diegans to come. As Steve mentioned, we launched our strategic plan and vision for just, equitable, and resilient communities last year. While we have done so much good in our first year, we have so much more work to do. That said, here are some of our biggest accomplishments of the past year. The San Diego Black Home Buyers Program launched in August 2021 as a part of San Diego Foundation's Black Community Investment Fund. With our partners at Habitat for Humanity, Union Bank, U.S. Bank, the Urban League of San Diego County, and LISC San Diego, we have enabled almost 40 families to begin their journey towards building generational wealth. This is what advancing racial and social justice looks like in San Diego. It was another record-breaking year for student scholarships. With more than $3.5 million awarded to local college students, this is the highest annual amount since San Diego Foundation's Community Scholarships Program launched in 1997. Of this year's scholarship recipients, 69% are first-generation college students or the first in their immediate families to go to college. And 95% of all recipients come from low to middle-income families. During the last quarter century, the Community Scholarships Program has awarded more than $46 million to more than 12,000 San Diegans. This is what fostering equity of opportunity looks like. This past year, San Diego Foundation also worked with several cities to launch relief funds for their small businesses and nonprofit organizations. In March, we worked with the City of San Diego to award more than $11.3 million to small businesses and nonprofits that operated within city limits or served its residents. Earlier this summer, we worked with the City of Escondido to award $1.5 million to nonprofit organizations located in Escondido or that served its residents. And we launched a similar relief fund with the city of Chula Vista in August to award $3.6 million to that city's small businesses and nonprofits. Partnering with these cities is what building a more resilient region looks like. Lastly, we launched a new brand and website that better exemplifies who we are and where we're going. This new look truly shows how San Diego Foundation values all people, all partners, and our region. Our website makes it easier for our donors and partners to give for good and nonprofit organizations to learn about our programs. This is what delivering world-class philanthropy looks like. All of this work would not be possible without your partnership and commitment to San Diego. I'm so very proud of our team's work in support of our donors, fund holders, and strategic priorities. Last year was a remarkable year, and our collective future is brighter than ever before. Thank you for that update, Mark. This work is important and ambitious, and we're so grateful to the partners and donors who work with us toward our goals of a better and more equitable San Diego. Now, I'm happy to introduce a leader who is boldly paving the way forward toward that vision of community change. Pamela Gray Payton is our Chief Partnerships and Impact Officer. Her leadership has helped launch programs including the San Diego Black Home Buyers Program and our Teacher Diversity Partnership with Teach for America San Diego. Her team oversees a wide variety of programs and strategic initiatives, and she joins us to share the work of several key community partners. Pam? Thank you for that introduction, Katie. As you will soon see in the following videos, this past year has been another exciting year of activity for San Diego Foundation and our nonprofit partners. Each video demonstrates how a nonprofit partner is living and breathing an important pillar of our strategic plan. Our first video is for Logan Heights Community Development Corporation, an organization that exemplifies the strategic plan pillar of advancing racial and social justice. Also known as Logan Heights CDC, this local nonprofit organization focuses on serving the residents and businesses of the greater Logan Heights neighborhoods in Southeast San Diego. 
From the Future Achievers Preschool to small business workshops to monthly food distributions, Logan Heights CDC is focused on developing and implementing tangible, sustainable solutions that improve the lives of those living in the predominantly Latino and Black neighborhoods of Greater Logan Heights. In recent years, San Diego Foundation has awarded the community-based organization with grants from the San Diego COVID-19 Community Response Fund to assist during the pandemic, the Healthy Children and Families Initiative to support mental and behavioral counseling for local children and their families, and for Level Up SD, our expanded learning partnership with San Diego Unified School District. Here's more about their work. Now, Logan Heights is an amazing community. It's culturally diverse. The folks here are just so warm and they want to see their community grow. But we lack the basic needs and services sometimes and that's where Logan Heights CDC comes in. And we really fill the gap for the services that the community is asking us to provide. Some of those services starts with ages two all the way to elderly. Programs like our financial assistance program, our career workforce program, all these programs, including our early childhood program, interconnects to provide a solid wraparound services for the entire family. Investing in the future is an investment in our early childhood education program. They are the future. And so giving them the foundation now from an educational platform really sets them up to not only be successful, but also start to look at wealth building for the family in general. And we using these young people as the catalyst to really improve the family dynamics for all of the folks and all the families that live in Logan Heights. The vision of Logan Heights CDC is to reverse some of those inequities that has happened for decades. And we do that by making our community and the people that live in it more resilient. But our whole purpose here is to look along our streets in Logan Heights and see clean streets, affordable housing, thriving businesses, and that's what makes a community continue to reverse some of those inequities and to give the folks here an opportunity to live, work, and play in their community. Thank you to our partners at Logan Heights CDC for taking the time to meet with our team to produce that video. Congratulations on all you do for our community. Now, I'd like to introduce you to another well-known nonprofit organization, Ocean Discovery Institute. San Diego Foundation has worked with Ocean Discovery Institute for many years, and its work is an inspiring example of fostering equity of opportunity in San Diego. For many years, we've partnered with Ocean Discovery Institute on opening the outdoor programs that provide access to environmental science education for K-12 students in City Heights. They've also received Level Up SD grants to provide free, expanded learning opportunities for students in San Diego Unified School District. And this past fiscal year, Ocean Discovery Institute joined the San Diego Foundation Community Scholars Initiative that helps our local high school students prepare for, pay for, and persist through college. Ocean Discovery Institute is a hub for future scientists in City Heights, which is rich in ethnic and racial diversity, but severely under-resourced. Here's more about the work that engages young people in science and conservation. I grew up here in City Heights and it's a community that is rich in racial and cultural diversity and there's so many incredible families here that are looking and seeking opportunities and Ocean Discovery exists in this community so that we can provide all 10,000 young people that grow up here an opportunity to do hands-on science, receive mentorship and have those tools that they need to succeed. Ocean Discovery aims to inspire the next generation of science leaders. And we do this by creating learning experiences for young people traditionally excluded from science due to their race, income status, and educational opportunity. Ocean Discovery provides 100% tuition-free programs to ensure that there's no barrier to access in our programs. We work during the school day with students and after school, providing field trips to the coast, lessons here at our living lab, and even working within the classroom with, alongside our teachers. I joined Ocean Discovery's 
leadership program as a freshman in high school and during that time received the support that I needed to go on to college and really find what my passion was. So I went to UC Santa Cruz and graduated in 2011 and started working my first job here at Ocean Discovery and I've been on our team for a little bit over a decade really ensuring that the students that grow up here in City Heights have similar opportunities to receive hands-on science and mentorship in the same way that I did. When students participate in ocean discovery programs, we see them change what they believe about themselves, what they believe about their future and who they can become, whether it's a first generation college student, someone who enters a career in science, and that belief that starts at such a young age really changes our students' trajectory in their life. It just makes me incredibly proud that students that grow up here will know that they can accomplish whatever they put their minds to. Thanks also to our partners at Ocean Discovery Institute for taking the time to work with us on that video. Congratulations on your work in our community. For our third pillar, Urban Core of San Diego County represents our pillar of building resilient communities through its workforce training program and environmental work such as urban forestry, wildfire mitigation, and more. Urban Corps is a local certified conservation corps that provides young people with education, life skills, training, and paid work experience through environmental projects that benefit our communities. This past year, we awarded them a grant as part of our partnership with the County of San Diego to reach out to Opportunity Youth, or young people ages 16 to 24 who are not in school or working, to expand the local green jobs workforce. We've also awarded them grants through our Opening the Outdoors program, the San Diego COVID-19 Community Response Fund, and most recently, a grant as part of the City of San Diego COVID-19 Small Business and Nonprofit Relief Fund. Here's more about Urban Corps of San Diego County. Urban Corps is a nonprofit. We're a job training program and a certified charter school where we help youth 18 to 26 earn their high school diploma while also getting job skills. They go to school one day a week and then we place them in, in green jobs with paid work experience four days a week. This program gives the second chance to young adults like me. They give them skills for better jobs when they graduate and an idea of what you want to do in the future. Urban Corps is a certified conservation corps, so we do work outdoors and really to benefit the community. And we have four different departments that we work in. We have recycling, environmental services, community improvement services, and construction. We expose our, our core members to green jobs in, in the conservation work that we do because it's, it's going to be the, the future. The state and the city are committed to carbon reduction and conserving our environment. So, you know, everything we do is looking toward the future and what are the future needs of California. Our goal with our core members is really to change their belief that they can be successful. With our high school diploma and the job skills that we teach them, it really gives them the mindset and belief that they can have a successful future in whatever they want to do. Before, I was really worried about my future because I didn't know what I was gonna do. And besides, I was always thinking about the high school diploma, like how I'm gonna be able to get a better job if I haven't even finished high school. So if I see myself three years back, I'm totally on a different path and a better one. I know what I want, I know what I like, and I know what I wanna do in my future. Thanks to our partners at the Urban Corps of San Diego County for helping us learn more about what you do. Congratulations on your work in building a more resilient San Diego. Now, I'd like to welcome back Katie to introduce our last strategic plan pillar and partner. Pamela, thank you for sharing such inspiring work with us. Now, I'd like to introduce you to our final strategic plan pillar, delivering world-class philanthropy. This pillar is all about many of you here today, our donors and fund holders. Our team is committed to supporting your philanthropy and helping achieve your goals for our community. We're deeply proud of the impact that our fund holders have. In the last year, funds at San Diego Foundation made nearly 8,000 grants to more than 2,000 nonprofits. You, our donors, supported scholarships and education, arts and culture, healthcare, the environment, and much, much more. Whatever causes and organizations are nearest to your heart, our team at the Foundation is here as a resource and partner. To highlight this pillar of our work 
and as an example of exceptional philanthropic commitment. This next video features donor advisors, Marisa and Bill Rastetter. Marisa and Bill are dedicated community leaders who support a variety of causes and nonprofits. And in the spirit of service and humble philanthropy, they've asked that this video feature the work of San Diego Squared, a local nonprofit dedicated to empowering future leaders in STEM fields. And in fact, portions of this video were recorded by Nico, an SD Squared fellow. Bill and Marisa model how philanthropists can work with San Diego Foundation to have lasting impact in our region. Here's more about their important work with SD Squared. I thought back a couple of years ago at the number of times in management meetings and companies that we would say, gosh, we, we need to get more resumes of diverse candidates. And it uh, became fairly quickly apparent to us that you can't just ask for resumes and get the diversity of people that you want into any particular job. We were in the kitchen and I said to Bill, I said, you as chairman of a lot of local biotech companies have a lot of power and I said and you set the culture and you are in a position to actually make change and I said I really think we need to do something with it and I have to say I mean Bill has just blown it out of the water and is so passionate about this cause and we're you know just thrilled to but you be were, you were the spark you were the spark. well I was the spark but I made you do all the work <laughs> San Diego Squared is on a mission to change the face of STEM. We do that through building a hyper-local network of scouts that goes into high schools and in colleges, identifies incredible students, and we connect them to some of San Diego's most innovative companies. At San Diego Squared, we believe that talent is universal, but opportunity is not equally distributed. And we know that we have very bright, talented students in our community who just don't have access to mentors, and we see it as our job to facilitate those connections and provide that opportunity. What we've realized is that when you give financial support alone, that student still needs support with building their confidence, building a nuanced understanding of the industry, and building social capital. At San Diego Squared, we pair the financial support with real human connection to STEM professionals in the industry so that these students have someone they can talk to they have someone that can help illuminate that path into STEM for them. Through partnerships, together, we can build a diverse STEM ecosystem where every person has the opportunity to thrive and drive change in their community. Thank you, Bill, Marisa, and SD Squared for allowing us to share the story of your inspiring work together. To all of our donors and fund advisors, thank you for trusting San Diego Foundation as your partner in philanthropy. Truly, it's an honor to work with you in service of our community. And now, we're excited to celebrate inspiring leadership and community change with our Inspire and Enable Awards. I'm happy to turn the floor back over to Mark to announce the very deserving recipients of this year's awards. Thank you, Katie, and thanks again to Steve and Pamela for presenting an exciting program. Now I want to introduce my favorite part of our event program. It's my pleasure to announce our second annual Inspire and Enable Award winners. The Inspire and Enable Award winners exemplify the mission of San Diego Foundation. From a personal commitment to do good to the impact of grant funded work in San Diego, these award recipients are helping to realize just, equitable, and resilient communities through their actions and impact. Our awardees have also been important partners in the work that we have done during the past year. Our Inspire Award goes to fund advisors who reflect our values as an organization. They have not only honored the important legacy of a beloved friend, but they've also been strong partners in the work we do in growing a better, more inclusive San Diego for all. It's my pleasure to recognize Marilyn Cathcart and Mary Sutton as fund advisors for the Diane Johnson Fund. Marilyn and Mary are being honored today for their longstanding efforts to inspire philanthropy in our community. Marilyn Cathcart and I are honored to be recipients of the San Diego Foundation Inspire and Enable Award. We are fortunate to be the advisors for the Diane M. Johnson Charitable Fund 
entrusted to the San Diego Foundation. Our dear friend Diane Johnson passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2015 at the age of 70. As many of us do when planning for the future, she saved throughout her career to ensure a financially secure retirement. This enabled her to nurture her passion for volunteering at organizations that help the most vulnerable in their time of need. Whether they be a shut-in in need of a meal, or an abandoned German shepherd in need of a home, or a child with a serious illness in need of a wish fulfilled. Diane's retirement was cut short by her diagnosis. When she realized her retirement nest egg would far surpass what she could responsibly give away during her remaining time, she contacted San Diego Foundation to set up a donor advised fund to ensure her passion for helping those less fortunate could live on through her charitable fund. Over the last seven years, Diane's fund has made a huge impact through substantial grants to numerous causes and programs. Community scholarships, early childhood resilience, age-friendly communities, black community investment fund initiatives, including black home ownership, medical debt relief, the COVID-19 Community Response Fund, and animal welfare, to name just a few. It has been an unbelievable privilege to work with Katie Rast, Pamela Gray Payton, Brian Zambano, and so many other wonderful, dedicated people at San Diego Foundation. They help us direct Diane's contributions to where they are needed most and where they will be used wisely for greatest impact. We know it is a huge responsibility to honor Diane's legacy and are so thankful for our ongoing partnership with San Diego Foundation. It has allowed Marilyn and me to continue to do what Diane was not given the time on this earth to complete. So a very sincere thank you for this wonderful recognition of Diane's enduring impact on the San Diego community she loved. Thank you, Mary and Marilyn, for accepting this award. On behalf of the communities we serve, congratulations on inspiring philanthropy in San Diego. Our next awardee is an organization that since its founding in 2001 has helped thousands of local young people prepare for college. Its focus on serving as champions for first generation college students or those who are the first in their immediate families to go to college is why they have been strong partners in San Diego Foundation's Community Scholars Initiative. It's my pleasure to honor Reality Changers with our Enable Award for their work in our community. On behalf of our families and our team, I would like to thank San Diego Foundation for this award. At Reality Changers, we prepare youth to become first-generation college graduates and agents of change in their communities. Starting in the eighth grade, we help students from underrepresented backgrounds graduate from high school, get into college, afford college, graduate, and launch their careers. This past year, we served more than 1,400 young people. 142 of those were high school seniors who just started their first semester of college. I'd like to share with you a bit about one of our graduating seniors from this past year, and her name is Wendy. Wendy joined our program in 2019 at the beginning of her sophomore year. At the time, she was struggling in school, and her hardworking parents were unable to help her with her homework. Wendy had even failed a class. Research shows that failing just one class can make a student 30% less likely to complete high school, especially for students from underserved communities. At Reality Changers, Wendy received free tutoring and mentorship. She connected with a community of peers and adults who all wanted to help her succeed. She calls this community her second family. After she joined Reality Changers and found her second family, Wendy never failed a class again. In fact, she just started her first year at UC Irvine. She is studying education and wants to become an elementary school teacher. Just like Wendy, we feel fortunate to have a family of supporters. We are grateful for the volunteers, partners, and donors that work with us to improve education access for our students and equity outcomes for our region. Thank you again to San Diego Foundation and to all the members of our community. This award is for you. Thank you to Tamara Craver and everyone at Reality Changers for your service and tireless commitment to serving San Diego. Thanks to your work with San Diego's young people, we are building a more just, equitable, and resilient San Diego. Congratulations and thank you 
for your important work in the community. In addition to their awards, San Diego Foundation will give $5,000 grants to the nonprofits of each winner's choice. For all of you viewing at home, I hope you are inspired and enabled by the work of Mary, Marilyn, and Reality Changers. Congratulations again to the very deserving recipients of our Inspire and Enable Awards, and thank you for your work to serve our community. Thank you to our partners at Ocean Discovery Institute who hosted us for this program. Now, if you have a drink of any kind at hand, I hope you'll join me in a virtual toast to all of the partners and change makers with us here today. To the award winners and our nonprofit partners, to our donors, our staff and board leadership, and to all of you in attendance. This work matters, and it takes all of us. Here's to you. Please keep an eye on your inbox or mailbox in the coming days for our annual report. Thank you for joining us and for all that you do for just, equitable, and resilient communities in San Diego.